Um, it is a very heavy game. Uh, it has some pretty realistic, shitty situations that, you know, some people do experience in life. So, um, it's definitely one of our more serious games. 10 hour shifts? Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're ha ha ha. <laughs> Dude, I respect though. I hope you get some good breaks, you know? You need that. Mental, physical, and spiritual like, well being for that. And I hope they treat you well too. Huge one. Um, for anyone new here too, if you would like to catch up on this, I have been posting the. Um, play or the game throughs with all of y'all on my YouTube so you can catch up with now we're on the third part so parts one and two are up all right yeah man of course absolutely um yeah let's give some love I think we lost them. Oh, my hands are still shaking. That was intense, Mom. Beat of luck with this game. I hear it's tough on the heartstrings. Yes, it has been. Brian, good morning to you. How are you doing? We are just continuing the um, best month ever. Why? How did my glasses get dirty again? Hello, hello. Okay, so last time, remember you guys, we got we got attacked by some awful people at a gas station, ironically. Careful out there, Sydney. <laughs> um, but your glasses are always dirty. Mine too. Mine too. <laughs> Sorry. It's really not surprising, but I'm a crier, right? So I'll get emotional just like if I see something beautiful happen. So um, I'm like constantly like tearing and then I'll see these little, like, little water spurts in my glasses after like wondering like, why is the day so blurry? <laughs> eh. You just let them stay dirty? <laughs> right on. Uh, my kid does too. Her glasses are constantly dirty and I'm looking, I'm like having a conversation with her, but I get distracted by like the spots on her glasses. I'm like, how can you see me? <laughs> oh, it's funny. Okay. So we took a gun to some people at a, at a gas station last time, right? Um, so now, oh yes, okay, so here it is. Mitch says, that was intense, mom. Do we boost his self-confidence, apologize for the gas station, or scold? I think we boosted his confidence last time. We do also let me turn that off should we scold him because i mean mitch is the one that took out the gun first right i think sydney brought that up last time of like that shouldn't be the first thing you think to do That gun was necessary. It did become necessary, didn't it? Because they brought out another guy with a gun. All right, I'm going to boost again. Don't let anybody push you around. Ever. What do we do if the cops want to stop us? Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, you pull over. <laughs> pull over or pedal to the metal. It's best not to mess with the cops. We're going to pull over and do exactly as they say, Okay. What if they're not nice? Better get used to it. You're bound to run into a nasty cop in your future. Let's see what happened here. Ah, it's hot. Let's see if you can find something in the trunk to open the hood with. And put a hat on. The sun is terrible. All right, so this is where we're at. We're gonna go into the trunk. Put it in here. Lovely gun. Oh, a hat. Okay, good. 
Should I take the gun? Why is he wanting to take the gun? And why is that my only option? That doesn't sound ominous at all. Yeah. <laughs> For real. Okay. I'm here, Ma. Will you teach me? Oh. All right. Scold, agree, or instruct. T-Bone's got me wanting a beer now. I don't know. What kind of beer would it be? I mean, it's 1041 in the morning for me here, so. I only allow myself to do it on vacations. Because <laughs> on vacations, time don't matter. <laughs> Sam Adams. Ooh, I haven't had that in a long time. Oh, this is a hard one. Um, yeah, it is a hard one. I'm trying to fix my car, though. I'm stranded. I would want to teach my kid how to use it correctly. That would be a, a big thing for me. When I day drink, I usually start at 2 p.m. That sounds right, you know? Like, people have beers with a, with a lunch, too. I mean, hell, think of mimosas. It's not a beer, but it's a, uh, it's brunchy. <laughs> then I'll start in 20 minutes. You do you, you do you. Don't, don't let me, I'm not judging at all. <laughs> Let's see, instruct, agree, or scold. I, I this is not a toy, Mitch, put it away. And when I grow up, will you teach me then? This one's hard. So he's asking when he grows up if I'll teach him. I'm going to be dead. That came out a little more bluntly and less uh, soft as I think I intended. But yeah, the whole premise of this game is I'm dying. So I either tell him the truth about me dying or I instruct him to put it away. This is where it's going to get deep, guys. Ooh, a stout makes a decent breakfast. Oh. I hope I remember to try that on my next bike ride, baby. I think I'm gonna tell the truth. I think it's time, you guys. I feel it is. I would want time with my mom, like to know if she's going, yeah. One day somebody will teach you for sure. Somebody's coming. Quick, Mitch, hide, quick. I mean, this is intense. Okay, a bush. Oh, rock. Get the rock. That wasn't really the truth. Overheated. Oh, get rid of him or lie. Um, why is he able to help me? Get rid of him or lie? Why are these options horrible and not kind? <laughs> okay, I, I'm gonna lie. I feel like that'll be less provoking. No, it's, it's all good. You shouldn't start it for a while. Thanks, I'll manage. Running from someone? That's a little personal. Lie, yes, they did lie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they did sound like the same, Rabbit. Uh, running from someone, why or get rid of him? Get rid of him, probably bad. Okay, so I'll do why. Why do you ask? An overheated car in the middle of a desert? Windshield shot through. Isn't the little one a bit little to play with a Winchester? He's got to learn sometime. No place like the desert. Did you see a horse run by here? A horse? Mitch. Name's Wee. He's white with black spots. We haven't seen any horse. He's always running away from my uncle. Sure you don't want any help? The wind is picking up. Sure, you don't want any help. The wind is picking up. Ask for help or reject the help. I don't know. Like, I'm not getting, like, a bad vibe from this dude. He seems 
seems nice. I'd get help, yeah. I feel that too. Can you give us a tow? Sure. Just need to get a tow line for my uncle. Man, that guy was pushing. Why? Maybe he really wanted to help. It's true, the wind is picking up. Yeah, I think we made the right choice. I just hope he doesn't come back with those guys. Okay. You're not feeling well, Mom? I'm just a little dizzy, that's all. Can I look around? Just don't go very far. Okay, so we have some freedom here. I feel like she didn't even tell him the truth, obviously. She... Was, oh, the horsey! It's you they're looking for. Oh. Throw a rock or come closer. Come closer. We. Oui. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get closer. Please don't hurt me. Good horsey. Oh. I'm gonna follow it. <laughs> I mean, a kid and a woman in the desert, of course he wanted to help. Yeah, you're not wrong about that. I have trust issues. Um, Will you give me a ride? I think, like, there, yeah, I think it's also scary being a woman. And then also having the vulnerability of having a child with you as well. So, for me, it is very hard for me to trust intentions of others. And that didn't really happen until I became a little older and life experiences and yeah intuition I'm all dark and deep and you guys are like horsey <laughs> I love it yeah let's go get that horsey <laughs> where'd he go I'll climb this wrecked car and jump right on top of you we uh oh Let's do it. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Just when I thought the wind blew you away. Let's tow your car. Looks like we've got no choice. Come back, Mitch! I just got bit by- He wasn't supposed to go far. He won't hear us in this wind. Let's go find him. Dude, that scared me. All right, now we're mama. Oh no, Mitch. Now one, one second. Ooh, I like that lamp mode. All right, let's go find my baby. Dude, that's one of like the scariest things. Mitch! Mitch! Oh no. Sorry, there's someone right by our door. My dog's going crazy. Mitch! Oh, she sees him. What happened? It hurts, Mom. Easy now, don't move. A snake. Please help me, take him to a doctor. The hospital is too far. We'll have to go to my uncle's, now. Oh no. I just got chills. The boy got bitten by a snake. Can you help my little boy? Put him in the Hogan, Timmy. Snake Start the fire, painful. quick. What kind of Have snake was it? Bitten? I only caught a glimpse of it. The death spirit never leaves empty handed. The boy's spirit needs you. 
Okay, I just got a huge chill. Okay, we're about to go on a deep. Beware of though. the spirits. Don't follow their glow. If you're lost, the fire will show you the way. The boy spirit needs me, or it needs the mom. Ooh, okay. Mom, help! Follow me. Find the next fire. Okay, hold on. I gotta get tissues. <laughs> I'm gonna need it. I'm, I'm opening up a new one. I've already used all my tissues. Ready? Get your tissues ready. That venom starts digesting you. Oh, holy shit. Have you ever been bitten, Rabbit? Too weak. Uh, oh. Help me, horsey. Seek the corpse's fire, Louise. You'll encounter all of your unfinished affairs there. spirit's weak too because she's gonna die soon. I don't see any fire. Seek deep. you the answer to all of your questions ask where's mitch Say healing Mitch. Because wherever he is, I just want to kill him, right? Healing. What do I do to keep Mitch alive? Fight. His uh, his answer was to fight. 
um, I want to ask about Mitch's future. Because that's the thing that she's not going to be able to experience. What will happen to Mitch after I die? Run away! Quick! They said to fight. But I Mom! Mitch! Oh, good. <gasps> I'm okay, Mom. That boy is tough. You don't know how grateful I am. Your uncle. My uncle bought you some time. Oh, my God. He asked me to tell you that the spirits of your ancestors are calling your son, but their faces are still hollow for him. Only you can flush them out, Louise. Thanks for everything, Timmy. They fixed your car, but it won't hold up much longer. It only needs to hold up a little longer. This time, stick to the main roads. Here's a map. Are we just not going to talk about the dead body behind we? Like, what? Is that the uncle? And what, did, what does he mean that their faces are still hollow for me? What, I feel like I need to get the umbrellas since the waterworks look like they're coming. Oh, they're coming. They have came. Oh, I'm like all soggy. Okay. I mean, I've been wiping, but yeah. Oh, I'm here for it, though. I love games that, I guess, bring out emotions. I feel that's the one thing that we all kind of uh, core down or similar and connect with. Maybe some express it a little more than others. <laughs> Faces are hollow. I think he means, oh, I, I think means he doesn't know them. Interesting. Hmm. We started in Northern California. That's quite a ways. We're just around here. You can stay here for a while. Thanks, Timmy. We'll make it. We've got to go. But what about his and so we went. I liked Timmy and wanted to stay there. But Mom said we would meet other interesting people on the road. I didn't realize how wrong she was. But back then, I felt like she'd gotten a boost of new energy. I could see she was feeling better. I feel like they could have delved into that way more. What's in the town of Hope? Not what, but who. You'll meet your grandfather, Leon. Your dad? The one who was going to teach you how to fish? Yes, luckily it was you who taught me that. How can a dad leave his own child? It's beyond complicated. He doesn't love him? Sometimes he doesn't love the other people around him, and sometimes there's no way out. You can always try to find a way out. God damn it, the police! It's because of the gas station. I'll deal with that. What the hell are you doing? Put the gun away, now! What the hell? We should have scolded him. No! This is why you scold your children, people. Fuck. You're not going to jail. Oh, forbid? Do I forbid the kid? I feel like now I've been like too kind to this child. I forbid him or instruct him. We'll be back to me. Okay, you do. Shot 
the priest who was molesting when they were a child, you know, and they blamed us. So that could be why we're getting pulled over too. You're already running. Oh my god. Okay. Forbid it or instruct it. Forbid. No! Stop this instant! Okay, not gonna stop. That's interesting. Mitch! Stop it! They'll kill us! No lessons, Ma. I did it. They won't <laughs> get us now. Forbid. I did forbid. Don't Strap worry. in and get down. And there's but a tornado. they stop chasing us. A tornado. Hang on. Dude, this, this just got wild. Oh, oh my God. It needs me. Quick, quick, quick. we went wrong in parenting. Is this hope? If we're going to continue this trip, you've got to listen to me. Why did you shoot? I didn't want them to get us, Mom, because you're sick. He knows. What? I heard you when you were talking to Kiki. It's nothing serious. What's wrong with you, Mom? Nothing that can't be cured. Let's look for Grandpa. That's not true. Look out for a yellow house, or whatever's left of it. Yeah, okay. I hope Grandpa's okay. So do I. Over there, there's the yellow house. Yes, this must be it. Them bones, them bones, them dry bones, them bones, them bones, them dry bones, and I hear word of the Lord. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I'm a fantastic driver, mm -hmm. that is. It takes me 10 minutes to parallel park. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Is this 501 Roosevelt Street? I'm looking for Leon Connor. Good man. You know him? He used to be my son's friend. Only white friend in this town. You said used to be? He left a few years ago. Do you know where he went? Said something about a gator farm in the swamp. Was he a drunk or a junkie? Not really. Sometimes we'd have us a cup of moonshine is all. Said he was going to make boots out of them gators. <laughs> so, he was a junkie. M my son, he know more about that. But, uh... Yes? He gone for a walk a few days ago and didn't come back yet. Many brothers have disappeared lately. Mm. But the good Lord sees it all, and today he sent his wrath down on the white man. Looks like you got hit too. Mm -mm. Damn bones, damn bones, damn dry bones, ear word of Lord. Like Lady, please, can you help me? Oh. What happened? Can't find my daughter. I'm begging oh. you, help me. She's gone. I can't find her. Have you seen my grandma, an older lady? Calm down. Where are your parents? I only have my grandma. I found her glasses. She's blind without them. Please, 
Help me. Oh, no. Um, oh, gosh. Okay, start looking for Doris's daughter. Start looking for Pat's granny. I'm going to go for the daughter. What's your name? Pat. Listen, Pat. First, we need to find this lady's daughter, and then we'll look for your granny. Okay? What if she's hurt? She can see anything. I'll help Pat. Uh, forbid or allow it? I, I don't know. Honestly, I would probably forbid it at this point, just because, I mean, there's a whole bunch of places he can get hurt. I've already almost lost him to a snake. <laughs> um, for the sake of the game, I, get, I guess I'll allow it. Get back in the car, Mitch. I, I guess I can't allow it. Mom, we have to help. Just look around. Fine. Let's check out the area and meet up back here in a while, by the yellow house. Whenever mom sensed that I was right, she always lacked consistency. Every single time. That's called yellow. My daughter was dressed in red. We must turn left. Okay. I'm gonna walk. That's so funny, it is the only house standing. Blessed. We go in these places? No. We'll just conveniently find her on the side of the road. What's that? It's just a pot. Very helpful. Oh, she's wearing red. Is that what she said? Oh, what's that? Some girl's teddy bear. Oh, I hope she's okay. Okay, you can't step over that. That's fine. Somebody's hat. Shoe. I don't need to call myself this. Oh, I guess I do. A little shoe. My God, it's my little girl's shoe. Maybe she's hiding in this car wreck. Oh. <laughs> no, sweetheart. No, no, my little. No, wake up, please. When you witness so many horrible things all at once, you grow up real fast. It all depends on how you explain it to yourself, or on how someone explains it to you. I didn't think they would be that mean. Mitch! Have you seen my son? Leon kept mentioning black morass. Excuse me? Said something about Black Morass in Louisiana. Is that where he went? He talked about you all the time, honey. Mitch, are you okay? Sure. Did you find Pat's granny? Yes, I found her. That's great. You're a brave boy. She kept looking at me with kind of transparent eyes, but she was already cold. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. Pat closed her eyes and asked me to leave. He cried a lot. You did the best you could. You helped. 
Cat said earlier that Granny was all he had. Now he's alone. If he really tries, he'll never be alone, you know? Is that how it works? No, but if he's gonna depend on others for help, he'll die. But if he fights for himself, who knows? That means he's already gone. If you were suddenly alone, Mitch, would you like for someone to say you're already gone? But I won't be alone, because you'll get better, right? Yes, sweetheart. What about Doris's daughter? So I either um, lie to him or tell him the truth. <laughs> I'm a mess. <laughs> um. I think I need to tell him the truth. Like, there's a lot that he's going to have to process, and if he can't process it, well, she. If, <laughs> I think it will be harder for him to process it after she's gone if he could already like start processing it while, with her while she's still here <laughs> dude I'm already like well into this thing oh my gosh but now there's another kid alone who can't take care of himself why not help the kid mm -hmm. Oh my god, I'm gonna tell him. We too. found her, but it was too late. We need to keep going, honey. It's a long way to Black Morass. Oh my gosh, I appreciate you guys. <laughs> How are you guys doing out there? <laughs> I guess she meant something else when she said we'd have the best vacation ever. Still, the vacation was life-changing. At least it was for me. Thank you. <laughs> That's when my mother said, every deed, good or bad, has consequences. That's what karma is. She was right, of course. But after leaving that town, I felt like my deeds had no effect on anything. Everything all right, little guy? What are you doing here? Uh, lie or answer evasively. Oh. I'll answer evasively. We've been driving for a long time and just needed to rest. Fine. Just don't stay too long. It's getting dark. How are you feeling, Mom? Much better, sweetheart. I'll check the car, and you try to get it started. Shit's happening all over the place. Damn, it's gonna be hard to get out of here. Okay, Mitch, turn it on. Okay, Mom. You okay, Mom? Yes, don't worry. Mom! 
Uh, it's all good, Mitch. <clears throat> So Luis's options are to take out a gun or ask for help. Why are those my only options? Okay, ask for help or take out a gun, guys. <laughs> Looks like it's a vehicle with permit. I'm gonna ask for help. Can you help us? What happened? It won't start up. Where's your dad? Not around. Will you help us, sir? My auto shop's pretty close. I'll give you all a tow. We got lucky, didn't we? We'll see about that. I'm Louise. This is my son, Mitch. Thomas. Thanks again. You'll thank me later. How long will the repair take? Hard, hard to say. brought gas. Welcome. Their car is broken. I'm going to take care of it now. Good evening. We don't want to bother you. Don't be silly. We love company, but we rarely have gas. Um, I'm doing well. Thank you, Faze. I am. Um... Oh, right on, Sydney. You do you, boo. Good luck with your meeting. Um, oh, we just we're playing this really intense game. It's sad, and I'm falling apart, Faze. <laughs> More like melting. <laughs> but you said that you're doing good. I'm really glad to hear it. <laughs> it's good to see you. Okay, I'm going back in. What's your name, darling? Louise, this is my son, Mitch. I'm so glad Thomas has picked you up. My son is a good boy. All right. Hydrates? Thank you. I appreciate it, I really do. Thank you. Let's take a minute. I want to see how many of you think that we are about to get murdered, or at least attempted. What's it called? It's called Best Month Ever. Um, essentially, the plot of the game is um, at the very beginning, we found out that the mom has a terminal illness of some like some sort she's gonna pass away soon like within a month so the rest of the game is her trying to figure out of finding um, a safe place for her son to live when she dies and now we're trying to find um, her father which she has not seen since she was uh, a, a kid reloading for the waterworks thank you let's get some ammo in there yeah, I've been crying a lot today, Faze. This is part three. So we played it three times now. Today is our third. Part two was fine. Part two was really fun. I laughed a lot. Today, it's... it's. I feel like we were just getting warmed up. And then today, just like, no, you're going to fucking feel it. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> it is sad. It is really sad. But it's also beautiful and strange and very violent. Um, the choices we're left with uh, are not the ones that I would really choose, but um, definitely know how to keep a story going. For the game called Best Month Ever, this seems like a sad venture. A sad venture. I've never heard that. That's exactly what this is. Uh -huh. 
Absolutely. Do you think that these people are good people? Or do you think they're going to try and do some shitty shit? I have a feeling they're going to not be good. You're going to Texas tomorrow? Is it for soccer? Did you get into that, um, the, uh, the, oh my gosh, I'm going to say wrong, tournament? Is it a tournament? Uh, it's a tournament. Hard to say? It is hard to say. But for the sake of drama, I'm going to say they're, they're going to be suspicious. They're going to try and murder us, make us into pies. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. We are cheersing Faze. He's getting into a tournament, or he's in the tournament. Going to Texas for soccer. Cheers. That is so cool, dude. I hope you have fun. There's something off, but not necessarily sure it's murder. Maybe. Mm. If it's not murder, what else would it be? Robbery? Cheers. Oh, I like, you're coming out with like some great emotes, dude. Tipsy cheers. I like that. Is that like a Leonardo DiCaprio pigeon? What is that? You know, his cheers is mean. Deliverance. Oh, deliverance. Isn't that like a religious s sacrifice thing? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Off-roading. Deliverance movie. I just need a quick synopsis. Ooh! <laughs> hug! Thank you, Faisy. Big hug to you. No, it's a movie. Yeah, yeah. So I'm looking up the movie... I don't know what it's about. I've never seen it. It sure got a pretty mouth. Is that what it's from? It's a Gapsy version of Mayonnaise the Cat. Oh, from the Jackbox game. Hey, right on. It's a rock movie. Oh, no. Strangers stuck in the boonies in the South captured by locals. But what was their intention? Was it ultimately murder? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Don't mind me. Interesting. Very bad intentions. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So it was murder. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just sticking to the one thing that... <laughs> That's nuts. Oh, what about that movie, The Hills Have Eyes or something? No, that wasn't the one. Was it the one? I never saw it. There was some movie that I was told was not to see because it would ruin my spirit. And when my friends tell me not to see something, I listen because they know that, like, it's just, it'll break me. <laughs> the Dueling Banjo song is from that. Hmm. Faze, I gotta go if you're still going to be still streaming, but yeah. Right on, dude. I hope you have a fantastic day. Good luck with your tournament. Please tell us how you do and, yeah, what you did. No worries. You do you. You do you, boo. All right. So, Deliverance. I'm going to see it. I'm not going to watch it alone, though. So, I have a feeling that's something I should not do. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. All right. Let's go see if we're going to be delivered. That doesn't seem right. It's fine. That's so true. He stopped to help us. Where are you headed? Tell the truth or lie. I don't trust people. I don't trust people. But I also don't like lying. I'm going to lie. Should I tell the truth? I'll let you know how I went. Yes. Thank you, Faisy. I appreciate that. Bye. No point in lying about that? Okay. Pretty far. 
to Louisiana. Oh, that's quite a ways. Hard to do without a car. What's waiting for you there? Tell the truth or lie. Might as well tell the truth. We're just gonna... You want my life story? Because it's gonna be a... Sh it's coming up to its close. You know what I'm saying? My father. Hmm. And where's your father, little boy? Okay, so now I'm a Mitch. Tell the truth or talk back. I guess I'm gonna tell the truth. I don't know. Very well. Do come inside. I baked some cookies. All right. I don't see any blood stains. Oh my God. Is that blood stains? I can't tell, guys. But there's two little silent, creepy girls waiting in the next room. Oh, they got covered. These are my granddaughters. Hi, what's your name? Mitch. I am Ada. Ida. Oda. Wanna play with us? Good idea, Ada. Go play together. Okay. Oh, children. Their mother left when they were little. For no reason? Just like that? Just like that. One morning, she just packed up and went. I'm raising them with my son now, but he knows cars better than children. He's always been in a world of his own, but he's a good boy. Yes, you've already said that. I'm not sure how much time our good Lord has left for me, but it won't be forever. The girls need a mother. Someone to shelter them from the world and, and push them to do their chores. Come play with us forever and ever. Yeah. Major problem. Can't do much without light. We are without power. A tornado blew all the power lines down. You'll sleep in our guest room. In, in the morning, I'll see what I can do. We don't want to impose. Oh, stop it, darling. We love guests. Besides, you don't have a choice, do you? I'll lock up the shop now. You never know who's lurking around on a night like this. A night like what? Dark. Let's go to your room. I'll show you around. Oh, my gosh. I'm getting such a weird feeling. Um, okay, let's see. I'll show you around. Okay, I, my choices are don't bother or thank you. A little dark. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what kind of night? Dark. <laughs> uh, although there's probably a lot of looters after uh, tornado wreckage. Wreckage, wreck, wreck. Yep. I feel like Leatherface is going to show up. Something, right? All right, okay. Um, I'm going to say thank you. I want her to show me around because I want to know my escape routes. Thank you. You're very kind. Oh, don't mention it. Dude, good point, Reap. I didn't even think of that. The mom just up and left. Her with children. Oh, she's after my child. Oh. Okay, that's my new guess. My new guess is she's after my child. To keep. Okay. Ooh, I just got chills. Let's go. Let's go. You want to play hide and seek with us? In the dark? You scared? Lie or tell the truth? I mean, if I were that kid, I'd lie. I'm going to tell the truth, though. I don't want to hide out there. I don't like the dark. If you win, it will get bright. Each of us will hide in a different room. You have to find us one by one, say the name, and light a candle if you get it right. Close your eyes and count to ten. One. I'm watching. Where is it? Two. Oh, fuck. Three. 
nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Okay. They ran off in this direction. Okay, I found one. Wow. <laughs> there you are. You found me, but now you have to say my name. Oh, no. Okay, sure. Your name is... Oh, no, who was she? Oh, I'm terrible at names, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to say Oda. Maybe Oda. No, my name is Ida. Go back in the hallway and count again. Right, okay, so she's Ida. Where's the other two up there? Nine. Ten. Ready or not, here I come. this game isn't as scary oh shit okay gotcha you're Oda? not so fast you still have to say my name i'm gonna say oda maybe oda you forgot my name Fuck. go back in the hallway and count again okay nine i'm gonna get it right this time guys <laughs> ten Ready or not, here I come. All right, it's Ida. There you are. You found me, but now you have to say my name. <laughs> Everyone's Okay, Ida. sure. Your name is... It's Ida, bitch. Ida. Your name is Ida. Yes. God, you can light my candle now. Okay. So, yay. Anything? Oh, here you go. Gotcha. She looks sad. <gasps> Why is she sad? Oh. Hey, what happened? I've hurt him. What? Who? From the cellar. Oh, dear. You're putting me on, right? <laughs> what the fuck? It's okay. Nothing's happening, all right? Give me your hand and we'll go. We can't come out until you guess our names. Those are the rules. Otherwise, we'll be punished. Ew. Hey, it's just a game, but okay. You're Ada. You're Ada, honey. I'm sure your name is Ada. No, I'm not. The My name is Oda. Go back in the hallway and count again. Oh, yeah. I Jeez. <laughs> that was my bad. <laughs> Nine. Ten. Let's just forget about this. Ready trauma. or not, here I come. I'll go count and act like we're still playing a game. Innocent little game of punishment and names. What the hell? Okay. All right, you're Ada. I don't gotcha. care what you say. Now she's crying. It's this room. Hey, here. what happened? I heard him. What? Who? From the cellar. Okay. You're putting me on, right? No. It's okay. Nothing's happening, all right? Give me your hand and we'll go. We can't come out until you guess our names. Those are the rules. Yeah. Otherwise, we'll be punished. Hey, it's just a game, but okay. Okay, she is Ada, right? I got myself not, not sure of myself. It's Ada. Please be Ada. Your name is Ada. Good. <laughs> okay. The real punishment is having to do this over and over again. 
Oh god, there's someone there. There's someone there. Keep your mouth okay. shut. You don't want me to punish you, do you? Oh, he's a good boy. Ooh. I want to go in here. Where'd the oogs go? All right. You're Found Oda. you. Yes, but do you remember my name? Sure, I remember. <laughs> it's Oda, right? Mom, we need to go. We need to go now. Your name must be Oda. Yes, you remember it. Yeah, I remember. You so can well. light my candle now. You made it. Tomorrow we'll play another game. No, thank you. Tomorrow I'm leaving. You never know. Who lives behind this door? Nobody. I saw your dad coming out from behind this door and talking to somebody. Should we tell him? A ghost lives in the cellar. A ghost? Are you sure it's not a monster? I knew we wouldn't believe. Nobody is allowed in there. Your dad was there. Dad is allowed. The ghost tells him to bring things. In return, he won't harm us and our grandma. But sometimes, at night, you can hear terrible sounds in the cellar. That's lovely. Dinner time, kids. Mom, we gotta go, now. You know, sonny you boy, do. your mom and I have bonded. I feel it. Don't you, honey? Answer evasively. <laughs> You're very kind, ma'am. You remind me of someone, but you're much prettier. Isn't she pretty, Thomas? I want to get called on Freddy. Hi, Tom. George. Max Hunter's farm, 11 o'clock. We've got a job to do. I'll be there. One more thing. Would you happen to have seen a blue Cadillac around? They say it was parked by the road earlier. No, didn't see it. Okay, see you later. We're gonna have some fun. Darling, if you were single, my Tom would have been a perfect match for you, right? Mom. Can you please shut up? Yes, please. By the way, why aren't you wearing your wedding ring? Uh, lie. Uh, I want them to think I'm married. Uh, I lost it. Maybe that's a sign. Oh my god, that really creeped me out. Did you hear that? Is that I the ghost? Have to go. A ghost? Well, you're too old for ghost stories. I heard you have to bring him all kinds of stuff. Yeah, traps for the damned rats. And once, a rattlesnake bit our dog. What happened to him? He died. The rattlesnake or the dog? The dog died. The snake went away, Mitch. And you, snotty girls, I'm going to punish you for scaring our guests. Sorry, girls. They didn't do anything. Scold Mitch or change the subject? I'm gonna change. Uh, how do you make this turkey? I'll teach you, honey. It's a family recipe. Uh, thank you for this lovely dinner. You're welcome. We love having guests. I'm sure. We're going to bed. I can barely stand up. Mom is ill. Ill with what, honey? <gasps> Mitch, quiet. Uh, nothing serious. Strong Just a, a cold. Hmm. Breakfast at seven. Hey, thanks again for everything. Good night. Oh my gosh. Mom, this place is kind of strange. Yeah. What's on your mind? When he was walking out of the cellar, I heard Mr. Thomas threaten someone with punishment if they don't keep quiet. And later, the sisters told me about a ghost who lives there. 
And then at dinner, we heard noises under the floor. Something evil is happening here, Mom. Maybe we're just imagining things. Hmm. But my intuition tells me something is not quite right. Yeah, don't minimize them. How do you know? Shh. Can they just lock us in here? Oh my gosh. Oh, thank goodness. Quiet in there. I gotta check this out, or I won't be able to sleep. Yeah. I'm coming with you. Oh, God, that means I have to go. <laughs> no, Mitch. Stay here and don't come out, no matter what. Lock the door. When I knock three times, you can let me back in. Mom, I'm afraid of this ghost. I don't want to be alone. Stay here, Mitch. For fuck's sakes, listen to me. Ghosts don't exist. One has to be tough. Ghosts do exist, and one must be tough. Sweetheart, we can't spend the whole night trembling under the covers. The world shouldn't change you. You have to change the world. Got it? I like that. Got it. You're a smart boy. The cellar door is locked. I'll look for the key. Here we go, guys. Are you ready to come with me? Not gonna lie, I'm actually... I'm, I'm a little scared. Oh! Is that my pistol? I'll take that. Yeah, take that. Mm -hmm. Find the cellar key. All right, let's go. I knew something fucked up was gonna happen here. But it gives me the bills. Okay, let me check up here. Some old suitcase, but no keys here. Bilbo, what is up? Good morning to you. Hmm, why was the pistol optional? Um, good, good question. Is that an 1864 Naval Colt revolver? I don't know, but you would. Just spoons, knives, and forks. Quite dirty. I like it. <laughs> is it? We're in a we're in this house, dude. It's getting some major creeper vibes. Someone being held in the cellar. You have to leave for work. Wish I didn't have to leave on this cliffhanger, but I wish you the best of luck in the game and hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much, Reeb. I appreciate you. Thank you for coming in with those those biddies of love, too. I'm sorry you didn't hear it, but I did get spoofed. Have a beautiful day, and I do hope that you laugh a lot today. Thanks, dude. Mm hmm. And rabbits will be right back. Okay, okay. Okay. I found some. Oh, these must be the keys. Okay. So I have the keys. I'm going to get over in front of the cellar. Live, laugh, love. <laughs> Do you see a sign that said it? Is that over there? Head pats for luck. Thank you. I'll do it. I appreciate it. There wasn't. There wasn't a sign, but that would have been hilarious. Actually, I don't have any signs that that say words in my house. Like, if I'm going to say it, I'm just going to say it. No, it's just the vibe I'm getting. Yeah, for sure. All right. Rabbit stepped away, and I think right now is a good time for me to step away, too. I'm going to go pee real fast, and then we're going to go and... Find out what's in the basement, okay, guys? I have a giant no step on snack box. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm trying to picture that. I don't know what that what that is, but it sounds fun. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be right back, guys. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do that. That's not the right screen. Here we go. Yeah, and welcome back, Sydney, to you as well. So, Sydney, to catch you up, we're at this creeper house, right? And um, it has a granny, three little girls who 
the granny claims that the mom just up and left uh, her with three kids. Sucks. And then um, the nice boy, who keeps on being called nice boy, who towed our car to this house, um, he keeps going into this basement and telling somebody to be quiet or he'll punish them. We're going to go see what's in the basement. Or who, rather. Mine was a be right back beer. Ooh, did you get your stout? What do you got? Or the, the what is it, the Adams? Sam Adams? <laughs> Nice. I hope you enjoy it, rabbits. Cheers to you. Sam Adams. Hell yeah. I'll cheers your Sam Adams. I see your Sam Adams, and I match you a golden pineapple kombucha. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Here we go. in this basement oh yeah during summertime i'm not gonna be able to stream during the mornings anymore right because my kids will be out of school but i'll have some um night streams again where and whenever i can fit them into my schedule and we'll have a we'll have a beverage evening for sure you guys can see tipsy tipsy nelly again <laughs> The standard Sam Adams lager or porter or something else. Oh, yeah. What do you got? Ooh, cherry wheat. Ironically, those are two things I'm allergic to. <laughs> Damn. None fit. Mm. So with the wrong food. Oh no. You're about to join them, you nosy cunt. How did I not see that coming? That is terrible. Oh, I have to find the bat. It's over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I remember it in the kitchen. No, you fucker. Alright. Can't go back. Can't. Good job, Mitch. Good job. <laughs> Mitch, go find a piece of rope to tie him with. Okay, that sounds reasonable, I guess. <laughs> Where? Where's rope? Oh, okay. You want the kid to do it? He's a little sh schmatic. Oh, I just hope this rope will hold him. This must be the cellar key. Are we going in there? Uh, forbid Mitch to exit. Explain you don't want him. You don't want to put him in danger anymore. I mean, yeah, I don't want him in danger, but I also don't want to leave him up here. I'll explain. I'll be honest. But first, okay, they have good loggers. I'm not a big fan of wheat beers either, but I do like cherry wheat. Ooh. Sneaky, sneaky, whack, whack. <laughs> yeah, so that's why the gun was optional. Mitch could have had it. Exactly. Find some rope to tie him with. Now it's a party. <laughs> I had a decent cherry stout. Ooh. What am I cherry? Put the guy, bad guy face down in the bucket of water. Oh, no. oh, Bilbo. I mean, I, this seems to be effective so far. Let's just, <laughs> we'll just, we'll just leave out that one. <laughs> No, Mitch, I'm going. You go back to the room, and this time you stay there. You haven't learned anything. Apparently, you learned things that scare me. And I taught you all of that. What's wrong with that? Mitch, please. Okay, Mom, I'll stay. Yikes, dude. Uh, had another one. Robitussin? Yeah, I can't do cherry flavors. I think for probably a similar reason to that when it hurts me. Okay, so this dude's on the floor. Like you do. And then we're gonna go downstairs. Oh, what's there? Oh, no. Okay. Did they move the person? Thomas and his friends. Fuck that. 
There you are, you bastard. Yeah, what a quote-unquote good fucking guy. I don't know this dude, but to complete a perfect family picture, all we need is dear granny. Hello? Who are you? Is that the mom? Oh, honey. We're coming to get you. Oh, my God. What? What's going on? Careful. He's coming back. He must run away. When he finds out... Easy. He won't hurt you now. Let us go. Please. There's more? Oh, my gosh. Yep, come on. We're getting you all out of here. Poor James. How long has he kept you here? Uh, I don't know. A few years? A few fucking years? And those little girls? They are our daughters. We could only hear them playing above our heads. Is their father. He kidnapped me when I was jogging by the highway. He entered our home, hit my dad with a hammer. Is, is my dad alive? I had a date with him at a bar and woke up in this cage. Why didn't anybody try to find us? <clears throat> What's wrong with you? I'm okay now. Let's go upstairs. He'll kill us. No, he won't be up for a while. Yeah, screw that. Just go, honeys. Let's go. That is so fucked up. What do we do yeah, with him? Uh, justice, the police. Uh, okay, this is where it's hard because we don't know if the police are on involved either. And justice, I mean, that's going to put blood on our hands and then... Potentially Mitch's, too. Okay, that's where he gets to hide. Police. I don't know. I mean, she is going to die soon. So if she were to have any criminal on her hands, now would be the time, right? <laughs> I'm going to try the police first. Justice would be bad. I agree. That could really fuck up Mitch for after we're gone. Yeah. Like, I, I wouldn't... I Don't wouldn't untie him no matter what. Call the police. Mm. They are his buddies. Even his buddies won't ignore it. But if you're scared, call your local newspaper. You bitch! Oh, here comes Granny! Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Granny can see I had no bite. choice. Okay, cuz out. Patient. Uh <laughs> still alive. Oh, yeah. We'll take care of that. I'll be that going one? now. <laughs> we'll Do you happen to know Max Hunter's farm? We're bailing out. Processing. Who was in the cellar? I'll tell you on the road. Oh, we got a new car. Upgrade. Uh, what do bye. you need Mr. Thomas's costume for? Now we'll play the ghost. Oh, shit. Should we make things right before Louisiana? What are you teaching, Mitch, dude? Uh, yes, no, destination. Let's just go to Louisiana. Let's just get the bug out of here. Mom, let's go see Grandpa. I'm proud of you, you know? I think so. But I just can't let this slide. Uh, because you just don't stuff? care? No, Mitch. Because I still do care. You know those types of games that leave you feeling powerless? Mom was awesome. I see that now. But on the other hand, I'd have to think twice before putting my child in danger. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? Oh, 
want to catch up here. We'll take care. Yeah. yeah. We'll take care of that. Uh, it's like, what the fuck? I mean, they probably got a lot of rage in them too, being held captive for years and then hearing their kids play, but not being able to see them or them being able to see you or even knowing that you're down there. So fucked up. I'm still just chatting. I'm always just chatting, Bilbo. <laughs> Thank you. I'll go change that right now. I appreciate that. Let's see. There we go. And I need to figure out how to do it. Who are you giving this? Thank you. No worries, no worries, rabbits. Like, I should be better. I should be better. All right, here, let's go back in. Let's go back in. This is fucked up. <sighs> this time you're not getting out of the car. Swear, Mitch. He should not be You here. swear first that nothing will happen to you. I swear. I don't believe you. I don't believe you either. I think that was the cutest interaction that they've had. Weirdest circumstances, but it was cute. This is really bad. Finally, Thomas. You took your fucking time. Put that gun down, Thomas, or you're gonna shoot that no. before we hang him. On your knees. Thomas is gone. Get down on your knees in two seconds or you'll meet his fate. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh my gosh. Wait, why am I upset that I missed? Okay. <laughs> there goes the brave one. He Thank left you, you all alone. Doesn't matter. We'll manage without him. Take your hood off. You know him? Yeah. He's our sheriff. Fuck that. Oh, I'm not surprised. I saw his pictures. Cuff him. You're making a big mistake. You made a mistake when you took off your hood for all those lynching party photos. Take his gun away. I've got your pictures and others have them too. Death penalty in each of them. All right, my options are offer a deal that will facilitate further travels or offer the prisoner to take the law into his own hands. <laughs> Bilbo, before even seeing the options, justice. <laughs> um, deal, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No deal, you have a car. Own hands would be bad. That's what I feel too. We've established who you are, but do you know who I am? Okay, what is this? No. What am I doing? To make it easy on you, I'll say that I was the one in the blue Cadillac. So you are wanted. This is how I see it. If I do time, you'll get the electric chair. I've got your pictures with all those people you killed. So if the cops pull me over, I'll take them out. Okay. I know what you're thinking. If you kill us quickly, nobody sees the photos. But I've already sent them to a safe place. If a single person of a different color disappears in or around the Town of Hope, the papers get your photos. And you know what? If my son weren't looking now, I'd kill you. Just like that. Why can't you take him there, ma'am? I'm going in the other direction. I have to find Black Morass in Louisiana. Black Morass? Yeah. Have you been there? No, I'm afraid not. But I have a good friend who lives there on an alligator farm. Was his name Leon? Good Lord, Leon, of course. Oh, it's the sun. So, Louise? Leon spoke of you many times. Your mother said the same thing. 
I met her in Hope. How unsearchable are his judgments and how fathomless his ways. Your father had so much to tell you. He, he was grief-stricken that he ran out of time. What do you mean, he ran out of time? Find him and ask for yourself. I'll do that. I leave the sheriff in your charge, but don't do anything silly. He's going to promise you mountains of gold. Thanks, Louise. Later, we read in the paper that a killer kidnapped the sheriff. But the sheriff broke loose and killed him. Oh, fuck that. But they didn't follow us. Did you get him, Mom? I'm not sure. I could have helped you with the Winchester. Once you shoot a person, you'll want to do it again. So what? So you'll kill an innocent person and you'll never forget it. Or someone will kill you. Then why did you shoot? So nobody kills you. Are we going to see Grandpa? Yes. Is Grandpa cool? He used to be very cool, but then he left his kids without a word. And my dad left us without a word, too? No. Can you be quiet for a while, Mitch? I see ass. What's going on? Uh, your own hands would be bad. Don't want the victim to get blood on his hands. Yeah, that's how I felt too. But apparently it didn't matter in the end because the sheriff was a bastard and spinned it, spun the story. Because all the evidence will exist either way. And more ass? Who, where's the ass at? What? Okay, told you again? Yes. Well, I still don't, like, I feel better about the choices I made. <laughs> <laughs> the newspaper was bad too yeah well of course I mean it's like whose hands are in the pocket kind of thing right more ass equals more ass thank you thank you how did I not see that it's so up my fucking alley <laughs> anyways I'll catch the next ass Okay. Let's see. I also don't like how dismissive she is about Mitch's questions. I don't think that's fair. He's just curious, and he wants to know. And she keeps evading telling him the truth about a lot of things. For the next few hours, we drove in silence. Suddenly, my mother looked at me and said, the most important thing in life are your principles. Fuck. And I thought we lived in a shithole. Looks like that's the only way. Let's go. Let's see what's out there. I've got a bad feeling about this. We didn't come all the way just to turn back. Okay, get in the car. from the place that we were just at and hold on I'll be right back there is someone like either at my door or by it but MacGyver's going nuts I gotta go figure something out hold up okay we are back I got MacGyver <laughs> yeah. alright we're gonna go Really, dude? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Looks like Grandpa doesn't like company. Haha, -ha, maybe it's not that bad. Swamp time. Oh, here, this is for Grandpa. Shit! Jump out of the car, bitch! Uh, okay. Um, I can't. What? Mom! Mitch! Where are you? Here! Help me! I can't swim! Oh. Hang on, Mom. I'll <laughs> think of something. I'm sorry. Oh. No. Nope. We've lost each other. Oh, ah! oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Chaos. 
stomping grounds. How about a swamp? Do you like swamp? Oh my god. I lost me marbles. I lost my earbuds. Oh, this is gonna be weird. Where'd it go? Did I pop? She, li she lives in swamps? Public pool? <laughs> oh, you live in a swamp? Oh, interesting. I'm losing my mind. Hold on a second. But you know how it goes here. And I've got to shut the door. All right. Josa, hey, dude, how are you? You're a potato? I love potatoes. <laughs> it looks like Louisiana. It is in Louisiana, right? This is a swamp monster. How are you doing, Josa? So good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Mm -hmm. Doing good. Got to stay home today. I hope you're feeling all right. I hope it's like a fun stay at home day for you. All right, we are about to uh, drown. I think. Oh, oh, wait, oh wait. Huh? Gotta find her like a wall. Oh. Mama. Oh. oh, yep. Oh yeah, you got home from Idaho. I saw that river lake thing that you posted. That was pretty cool. Oh, oh god, I gotta hurry. Mama! Oh my gosh, she's gonna drown. Ah! killed mom yeah he did yeah he did can't even help himself there's like gardening or something construction i don't know what's going on outside but it makes me feel threatened hold on mom <sighs> family trip right on dude mama come on oh pull, 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 pull. oh god i gotta mash it Thank you. You okay? Considering we just lost everything we've got? Sure, Mitch. It's all good. So what's next? Now, we're gonna hoof it. Too bad Grandpa doesn't know we're coming. He would come out and get us, right? Hope or doubt? I'd say hope, yeah. He's trying to find us for years. I hope so. Are you mad at me? How is Potato Land? Tell the truth or answer evasively? Why would I be mad at him? Why would I be mad at Mitch? Was there something I'd... I forgot? Uh, answer evasively, I don't... No, I'm just tired. Why would I be mad at him? I just want to hug him. Big ol' hug. Alright. 
A road sign. We're on the right track. Okay, so... Cool. Who Thank would live know. in this place? <laughs> Your grandfather would. Maybe he's not all there. Nobody in our family is all there. You okay, Mom? <clears throat> Just a bit tired, that's all. Let's go before the mosquitoes eat us alive. Let's walk over the top. I'm glad you had a good trip, dude. <coughs> Did you see potatoes? Uh, like, I'm genuinely, genuinely curious. <laughs> Swamp mm. Oh, no. Oh, no. <sighs> Hang in there, Mom. I, I got a rest. Are you afraid to see Grandpa? Admit to it. So it, the options are contradict or admit? I guess so, but don't let it worry you. I'll defend you if I have to, Mom. Mm -hmm. Grandpa's not going to harm me, Mitch. I'm just afraid we won't understand each other after all this time. Mitch, what if you had to live here? Never. What if Grandpa turns out all right? Then we go home, right? Okay, my options are to lie or to tell the truth, and I feel like she's about to finally tell him the truth. I have to. I have to try. No. You want to stay here? How long? Tell him the truth or lie. I'm telling the truth. Mitch, I'm very ill. So you need to rest. Is that why we're going to Grandpa's? We don't have much time. We have to find Grandpa. At least I hope Grandpa knows how to fish. Um, my options are hold back tears or get emotional. You know me. We feel it all. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mom, don't cry. I'm happy we're here. This is the best vacation ever. Just like you said. Seriously. I love you, sweetheart. <laughs> Get emotional, yeah. Fishing always brings a tear to the eye of the rabbit. I'll find the way. You just rest now. Okay. Just be careful. Well, I have to say, if this is the best vacation he's ever had, girl failed him a long time ago. <laughs> this is a horrible we both vacation. knew this wasn't going to end well, and we were both hoping for something that would give this story a happy ending. Yeah, be careful in the swamp, for sure. Where are the gators at? There's the gators. I bet you were going to... That'll be the next thing I get bit by. Kid, I'll help you. Grab my hand. Yes, please. Thank you. Uh, are you nuts? What were you doing down there? Please shoot him, ma'am. She's a mother protecting her young. You stepped into her nest, so she wanted to eat you. Was she right or wasn't she? If she ate me, that wouldn't be right. What are you doing here, kid? My mom needs help. We were going to Black Morass, and she got weak. Going to Black Morass on foot? You're either stupid or desperate. Both? Hey, Stuffin' Puffins. How you doing? Um, yeah, that is the name of the game. And let's just say it is a rough month. Nothing the best about it. Maybe surviving. That's the best part. <laughs> How are you doing today? I am emotional this morning. This this game is pretty heavy. Yeah, can you imagine needing to walk your dog and you're just out there and there's just an alligator? 
I don't know. That's just nuts to me. Are there alligators where you live, Sydney? And do you have a dog to walk? How is it when you walk your dogs? <laughs> How much more naive can I sound? <laughs> you bought a house? Hey! Dude, congratulations! Hell yeah. You're almost passing me for an adult. I feel that. I feel that. I almost feel adultish too. <laughs> yeah, but I never saw one out in the wild. Oh, really? Okay. In the wild? What do you mean? Are people out there domesticating them? <laughs> do you walk your gator, Sydney? <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. <laughs> That'd be badass as fuck, though, I have to say. We live in Florida, had one in our backyard once. Oh my gosh. That's wild. Some people raise them for food. Really? They're cute? Oh my gosh. I need to travel more. I, I only know a fraction of the world, guys. That's because that, to me, that's so wild. But to some, you know, it's an everyday occurrence. Like, oh, just watch out from them gators. Baby gators are very cute. I mean, I could see that. It kind of makes me want to watch a documentary on gators now. I mean, there's there's a reason why. Uh, oh my gosh, why am I forgetting his name right now? But the gator dude. The. The gator dude, the one that got killed by a stingray. What is his name? But he loved them. Everyone only, only knows a fraction. Yeah, thank you, Rabbits. You're right. Alligator is yummy. I've never had Steve Irwin. Thank you. Thank you. The only Steves I know these days are uh, Corel. Yep. <laughs> Steve Irwin. Yes. Thank you, guys. Thank you for understanding me. <laughs> All right, hold on. Had that monster eaten me, mom would have looked for me. And if she found whatever was left of me, she would have probably died. You died quicker than expected. Alligator is yummy. Mom! Very brave. Mom! Relax, kid. We're almost there. These boats, I've only seen them in, in movies. They look fun. I'm not going to lie. They look real fun. Come on, kid. Help me carry her home. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Alligator is just lumpy chicken. <laughs> oh, I like that statement. That's funny. Oh, alligator farm. Okay. They raise them like chickens out there. Throw higher. Feeling better? Much better. Thank you again, ma'am. Alligator is better chicken than chicken? Frog meat is very much like chicken? You broke me. I need to taste these things. I like gamey. I'm, I've only had gamey bison or something like once. I liked it. Some people don't like it. I like it. Frog is good too. I've had snail. That's about as fancy as. You do not like frog. <laughs> you should thank your son. What would I do without you, Mitch? You must have slept for 12 hours. Is it really true that you're looking for your old man to give him hell? What? What did you tell her, Mitch? That you're looking for a father who'd left you and that you're very sick. Mitch! I'll go get some more meat. Some more gator. The bison was gamey. Maybe your bison wasn't gamey. Mine was gamey. Mine had game. You know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh. Exotic meat. Exotic meat. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> Stop him or let him go? I'll let him go. The kid is no dummy. Thank you, but I think I know my own son. But does he know you? Why am I suspecting? What's that supposed to mean? Nothing in particular. Are you a shrink? I just raise alligators. And I'm just looking for my father. I'm sorry. You're right. It's none of my business. I'm looking for my father, but not to give him hell. You won't find him here. I know he settled in Black Morass. Black Morass was flooded two years ago. Everybody moved away. Did you know those people? No, I built the farm after all that happened. Mm. Feeling sick again? Come on, let's go inside. He ran away from us when I was eight. Just disappeared. Do you hate him or need him? Honestly, both. You couldn't have made it this far on pure hate. What about you? All by yourself? I had a guy. I met him after he got out from a ten-year stretch. What did he do? Attempted murder. When he got out, he went after that same motherfucker again. Your guy sounds like a real psycho, to be honest. That motherfucker was making moves on his daughter. She wasn't even eight. My choices are I already know who it is or to find out more. I guess we'll find... I don't know who she's talking about. Oh, was it... Was it us? Wait, what? I'm a little confused. And what about his family? After he did time, he went back home and was greeted by divorce papers. That pissed him off. And his daughter? The girl ran away before he came back. He crossed the whole country looking for her. Did he find her? A few years back, he found her trail in San Francisco. But she was already gone. Why did he look for her? She was his daughter. Is he still looking for her? Unfortunately, no. Where is he now? By that old bridge that collapsed with all your stuff. There's a small cemetery there. He died. What was your man's name? Leon. Leon Connor. <sighs> I should have guessed earlier. I've got something for you. When he couldn't find you, I made him write you a letter. But he didn't know where to send it. I can't do it, Mitch. You read it. Louise, my little girl, after all these years, I still can't find you. I understand why you're avoiding me. Perhaps you even hate me. I just want to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I allowed all these lies and that I couldn't protect you. Instead of looking for the bad guy, I should have just stayed with you. I'll never stop looking for you. And I know we shall meet in the end. Maybe it's time for you to come clean with your son. Yeah, finally. She really needs to tell him the truth. Yeah, that was a deep statement, Sydney. Does he even know you? Yeah. Yeah, I need to refresh on this game for sure. But I like how it was kind of summed up there. That was very helpful. She did. She did end up where she was supposed to. Mitch, wait! Yeah, go talk to your boy. Go. Before he gets eaten. Uh, let me just walk past him. Sorry, boy. Coming. Mitch, why isn't my dad with us now? Cheer? What the hell kind of option? Answer evasively or cheer? I'm kind of curious what cheer is. 
I'm gonna do cheer, just out of curiosity. Maybe one day you'll meet your dad. When? Why do you say things that you know aren't true? You've never met yours, and I'll never meet mine. Can't you just tell me what happened? I'll tell you one day. So we keep playing this game that I'm stupid and I don't understand anything. Little kids are not supposed to know, right? You don't tell them everything. I'm not a kid anymore, Mom. Thanks to you. What do you mean? I mean that in the last few days, I've seen enough to stop being a kid. I'm sorry for that, Mitch. I always want to be with you, Mom, but instead of being on vacation, we keep running away. I did it all for you. You started with setting your boss's car on fire, and then it just got better and better. You're not being fair, Mitch. He's not being no, wrong. that was really great, Mom. If you could only stop lying. What are you talking about? I think it's time for bed, Mitch. Good night. Sweet dreams, kid. Come and join me on the porch. Dude. So his father doesn't even know about him, huh? Will you take care of him? He likes you. I'm not going anywhere now. Um, so I can press on or wait for the answer? So bad pressuring her. I mean, that's really a little fucked up, but... Will you? I know he could learn a great deal from you. No. Sorry, I didn't wait, guys. <laughs> the boy has a father. Yeah, a selfish bastard. Talking about what happened eight years ago is nonsense. Who's selfish now? Mm. Easy for you to say. You're not dying. Maybe you will die. But the kid and his father will keep on living. <laughs> if you don't make it, I promise I'll take care of the boy. I swear. <sighs> Apple Hill. From New Orleans, take I-55 North to Campwood. Then turn left onto a gravel road. After a few miles, Go right. Kentwood. That's less than 100 miles from here. I don't want him to suffer in case something goes wrong. I'll take you to New Orleans in the morning. My friend will take it from there. Thank you. I'm glad my dad finally met the right woman. Mm. Well, he wasn't too picky after 10 years in the joint. <laughs> Leon always talked about a little girl who had so much strength. Enough to defy the whole family. He always admired you for it. If I had to choose a grandma right then, I would have chosen Barbara, even if I had to live in those boondocks. After we said our goodbyes, Mom told me, if we don't make it, Mitch, you'll go back to her. I was ready for it, because I knew we wouldn't make it. Jesus. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of part three. I guess to call it a day. see next we're gonna start off on 1960 oh we're going back okay oh shit here we go yes oh this lady does seem really nice i like her a lot i'm glad and she seems stable like more stable and more like emotionally intelligent than most people we found on the road so i hope that will benefit both of them in their closure and process of <laughs> processing the timing this lady seems real nice yeah thanks Travis. um i appreciate you all so much thank you for playing this game with me um it was a heavy day it was a heavy one for sure and i have a feeling it's gonna be a a power power powser kapow <laughs> it's gonna be a doozy all right we're going to be facing another doozy next Tuesday. I know it. Um, but I really appreciate this. 
a lot. I like to chime with all of you. Um, speaking of that, I guess it's going to be a short week this week. I have tomorrow off, so I'm coming back on Thursday. And I haven't decided if we're going to bring back um, a different game and maybe a guest on Thursday. Or if there's actually going to be a guest on Friday. Um, but I will definitely let you know in Discord what's going on. But um, I will see you Thursday, and I hope you all have a beautiful day and a beautiful tomorrow and that you laugh a lot. Is this coming back? I'm hoping so. <laughs> I love her so much. She is my, she is just, yeah, my light, my rock, uh, my best friend. If you can hear me, if you can hear me, sis, I love you. <laughs> hope you're blushing. Um, let's see. Okay. I know where we're going. Let's go to share some love. She's cool. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I knew you guys would just, like, accept her with open arms. She's amazing. Um, alright. So we're gonna go spread some love, and I will see you guys on Thursday. Again. Start the raid. There we go. Bye, everybody. Mwah. And here we go. I'll see you on the other side. <laughs>